But yeah, finally, it's now the time to begin Dane Sif's Arkham Quest. Act 4, yeah, Act f yeah, Chapter 4, Act 6. Yeah, here we are at long last, the Dane Sif Arkham Quest. We're going to be reunited with our sibling. And hopefully we know more about why they joined the Abyss and everything. Not sure what to expect for this quest, but not going to go into this expecting anything. But we're just going to go ahead and just begin it right now. So yeah, let us go see our sibling once again. Uh, you arrive at the Avengers Guild in Sumeru. Catherine seems to have a very tricky commission for you for your docket. It always begins with Catherine, doesn't it? <laughs> That's how just most of these Arkham quests just begin, just with Catherine, just randomly. Also, surprisingly, yeah, I'm surprised they begin to Sumeru and not Fontaine. You know, the region we've just been to and everything. Perfect. It's you two. I have a commission here that has your names written all over it. In fact, I'd even go so far as to say you're the only ones for the job. Is it a commission from Dane? The only ones for the job? Huh. If our help is really that important, it's probably some Archon class commission, right? <laughs> I never heard that classification before. But sure, we're happy to take this on. Which Archon do you need us to deal with today? <laughs> the Adventurous Guild doesn't employ that kind of classification system. In fact, this commission is also probably not nearly as intimidating as what you're expecting. Okay. All it asks us to do is to find the missing person. Okay. Huh? Then why did you say we were the only ones for the job? I came across this commission while reviewing our backlog not too long ago. It seems simple, but our records indicate that over a dozen successive efforts to complete it have all ended in failure, despite attempts by several accomplished and renowned adventurers. With the reputation of the Adventurers Guild and the performance of the Sumeru branch at stake, it's in our best interest to assign this commission to the adventurer with the highest completion ah. rate over the past few years. <laughs> Me. Well, that's us for sure. Flighty will get you everywhere with Paimon, but I can't guarantee we'll be able to complete it either. <laughs> All I'm asking is for you to give it your best shot. If it proves to be beyond your capabilities as well, I'll talk to the commissioner about canceling the commission. Okay, so who are we looking for? And what is it about this commission that's made it so hard to complete? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, we're starting off with a missing person. Imagine it's our brother or something. <laughs> Not, it can't be the case, though. Can it? This commission was jointly issued by the residents of Vimara Village. Okay. They say one of their own villagers has gone missing. But the problem is, they don't know the missing person's name. Huh. They can only provide information about his general appearance. Okay, so we only have a picture to go off of. Uh, they're all from the same village, but they don't even know his name? Hmm. If so many adventurers have failed to complete this commission, maybe this missing villager doesn't exist at all. Could it be some sort of a prank or something? Unlikely. Several villagers came by to issue the commission, hmm. and judging by their appearance and tone of voice, they seemed incredibly sincere. It certainly didn't seem like a joke to them. Besides, putting up a commission requires a processing fee. There aren't many upsides to a prank that costs Mora to carry out. True, that would be a little strange. In any case, it would probably be best to go to Vimara Village and ask around first. The Adventurous Guild does have some information on hand, but I would say anything you can learn directly from the villagers would be far more reliable. The best way to avoid misdirection is to go to the source. All right, then, True that. let's go! I'm starting to get really curious about this whole thing. So am I. How do we go from finding a missing person in Birma Village to finding our sibling? How's it all connect? I don't know, but that's what we're here to find out. Okay, go to Birma Village. All right. <laughs> Just imagine the missing person's like either like Ether or Dane or something. to some of the villagers to learn a little bit more about the missing guy. Man, it's been about it's been a while since I've been here. Is really as challenging as Cather made it out to be, we're going to need to carry out a very detailed investigation. Oh yeah. I think the last time I was here was doing the R&R quest. God, I saw PTSD of that. Uh, hey, Baram. Have you seen Hello the missing there. person? You looking to buy something? I do business in this area. Oh, no, no. We're adventurers. Catherine sent us to look into a commission here in Vermara Village. Ah, so you're here about that, then. Ah, you're not the first, that's for sure. We've certainly made a lot of trouble for you all. To be honest, we aren't holding out much hope. 
Hmm. Many adventurers have made their way out here, confident they'd be able to help us, only to leave soon after with nothing to show for their efforts. We've pretty much had it up to here in questions, and the area around the village has practically been overturned in search of clues. But no one has been able to make any headway. So, this person we're looking for, what's his name? Where did he live? Um, Does he have any relatives? Yeah, I... T <laughs> well, we were just telling they don't know his name, so... Uh, that was that out. I don't know. I really have no clue. I couldn't tell you. All the above? Okay. Guess you are really sick of answering questions. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to sound short with you. I was actually just giving you my answer to your questions. So those three questions are a no-go then. Hmm. I know it may seem like we don't have anything to offer by way of information, but I promise you, we all have a very strong impression of him. When you live in the same village as someone, you develop a lot of memories together, you know? Yet you don't remember his name? We just don't know the specifics. Maybe we did at one point, but that information is long gone by now. Hmm, did they... Was their name, like, wiped from their memories or something? Because... It can't be a coincidence that, like, everybody in the village forgot this one person's name coincidentally, right? Hmm. At least that's what everyone in the village seems to think. We've all exchanged what we know, and that was the only logical conclusion. Theory time. Um, that missing villager is our <laughs> is our brother who came here during his journey, and then went missing uh, when he like all of a sudden left the village. Because I'm pretty sure, for judging by the trailer that was given to us like the the animated trailer that was given to us in the special program it seems like our sibling turned to the abyss around the Sumeru arc i think i don't know <laughs> yeah maybe maybe urban soul has something to do with it yeah maybe the tree yeah i don't know but uh i guess we will keep playing to find out all right specifics aside then what kind of person was he then again, if Ermisol were to do with anything wiping their memories, um, wouldn't they just f make it so they would never be remembered at all? Why just go through the effort of making them spe like specifically forget their names? Hmm. Young guy, in his early twenties probably. Incredibly kind sort of person, hmm. always willing to lend a helping hand. I'd chat with him when I didn't have any customers. I even saw him stick out his neck for others on more than one occasion. <laughs> Very interesting guy, that one. All right, now what I'll do is I'm going to go to my alt account <laughs> to play the quest. And then if he says, Very interesting girl, then it's going to be confirmed. But I'm not going to do that. <laughs> now that you right started now. talking about him, you don't seem nearly as down in the dumps as you did before. Seems like he left a pretty good impression on you. But of course, everyone in the village is pretty fond of him. We wouldn't have issued that commission otherwise. Pretty fond of him, and yet he forgot his name. Hmm, interesting. There aren't many young people like him nowadays. So genuine and pure. To think that he just up and disappeared one day. I just hope nothing bad happened. Yeah, I'm very much locked on the theory that this is a brother he's talking about. Could he have just moved away without telling anyone? No. He's not the type to leave without saying goodbye. And anyway, moving away without being seen by a single person in the village? There's no way he would have been able to manage that. Huh. All right, thanks for the information. We're gonna go ask around some more. Hmm. I, I'm still... Yeah, I think it's our brother that he's talking about. I think. But then the, that must have been ages ago, so maybe not. Okay, I guess we'll keep questioning around then. Uh, okay. Yeah, can you guys describe to me what he looks like? Does he have blonde hair? It's that guest I hear. Hi, Grandpa Amadea. We're here to help you look for the guy that's gone missing. Ah, so that's what brings you to these parts. Coming all this way for our sake. That's so very kind of you. With your help, I trust that young man's case is in good hands. Hopefully. <laughs> Could you tell us a bit about him? Of course. I'm happy to help any way I can. 
With my failing eyesight, I'm afraid I can't offer much about his appearance. Hmm. But I do remember hearing the sound of his voice. Not recently, of course. That loss has left me feeling quite empty. I don't think his parents are still living in the village. But somehow he never seemed lonely. In fact, he was usually the one offering companionship to others. Hmm, sounding more and more... He would often hmm. take time to visit the elderly or play with the orphans in the village. And whenever someone had something on their mind, he was there to listen with open ears. He always knew just what to say. As the village chief, I owe him many thanks. Helping villagers navigate difficult moments in their lives should have been one of my responsibilities. But he was often the one rising to the occasion. Hmm. Wow, he seems like such a nice and gentle person. No wonder his disappearance affected you all so much. True, that's a thing. Um, actually, hmm. Yeah, how long ago was this? Because... Assumingly, like, our sibling went on the journey before we woke up. Which is like... I guess somewhere between the 500 range and we got knocked out. Hmm. But, um... You wouldn't happen to know any details about his name, address, or family situation, right? Because, yeah, we got imprisoned and then... Uh... Yeah, we, 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 we uh, I'm trying to remember correctly, but so we got imprisoned by the uh, sustainer of heavenly principles, and then our sibling was let free first, and then for the next 500 years, they just went on a journey. Um, but yeah, how would these guys still remember him if it was 500 years ago? Yeah, maybe I'm not, maybe Ether is not, uh, who, who they're think who, who they're talking about, maybe. I don't know. <sighs> I'm ashamed to admit it, but. I just can't remember. No matter how you look at it, I should know those things. But for some reason, no matter how hard I try to remember, the information just doesn't come. Perhaps my age really has caught up with me this time. Ah, uh, it's okay. There's no need to force yourself to try and remember. We'll, f uh, we'll figure it out. Uh, yeah, I didn't mean to skip that part. My bad. <laughs> Well, Traveler, what do you think? Hmm. There's probably more to this case than meets the eye. A lot of things are not adding up. I don't think so, too. Like, the name thing. It's so weird that no one remembers his name. Hmm. And nobody has been able to tell us anything about his family or where he lived. It's like this guy's been erased from reality or something. I would say it's more like he's someone who existed only in people's memories. Wait. So you're saying... It's not that he's been erased, necessarily, hmm. but more like he never existed to begin with? Okay, Paimon's gonna need some time to process that one. Someone who only exists in people's memories? Hmm. Could it be like what happened with Greater Lord Rukidvata? Like some sort of mass altercation of people's memories? Yeah, that's what we were thinking earlier. You two are the adventurers who just arrived, right? What the- You're here for the Vimara Village Commission? Why do I think that was Charlotte for a second? <laughs> I, I thought that was like Charlotte's voice for a minute there. Yep, sure are. We were just looking into the case. I'm so glad to hear that. Thank goodness you haven't given up. I've been so worried the Adventurer's Guild might cancel our commission. Yeah, I don't know why. This, this NPC sounds like a deeper Charlotte. <laughs> My name is Atosa, by the way. I grew up here in Vimara Village. Anyway, I just wanted to say... Please keep searching for a missing villager. I'm begging you. You have to find him. I'm sure we're tracking them. We'll certainly try our best. Yeah, no need to worry. We'll give it our best shot. So, were you close to the missing villager? Are there any leads you can give us? Hmm. I'm not sure this counts as a lead, but follow me. There's a place I'd like to show you. Okay. Hmm. But now I'm beginning to wonder, how does this connect... To our sibling. Because this is the dance, of course, after all. How does this all connect to... Hmm. Unless like, it's like a situation with Clotar all over again. Because, you know, Clotar did live in Sumeria for a bit with his, uh... Pillager turned son for a bit. 
before, you know, he lost it and everything. <laughs> Is this the place? Under this tree? Yep. I know it doesn't look like much, but this place is very meaningful to me. It's so full of memories. We used to always sit together under this tree and talk. Sometimes we would look up at the clouds in the sky or stop to feel the wind against our skin. We could sit there for hours at a time, never realizing how long it had been. I was actually adopted by the people of Bamar village. Hmm. The forest rangers found me in the woods as a child. I was surrounded by such good people and growing up in the village was so lively. Still, there were times when I couldn't help but feel incredibly alone. Alone? Uh, how should I put it? When something's bothering you, or when you have good news to share, you always want to talk about it with somebody. But for the longest time, I didn't know who I could talk to, or if I should say anything at all. Everyone has their own problems to deal with. Even if I might want to confide in others, I don't want to become a burden. I think I get what you mean. That's what family is for, yeah. Uh, really? You know exactly how I feel? I used to have someone like that, a family member that I could talk to you no matter what. But now I have lots of friends who understand me and would be happy to hear me out. Aww. Wow, that sounds really nice. You're quite lucky. When it comes to our missing villager, well... Hmm. I guess you could say that to me. He felt like both a family member I could rely on and a friend who could really understand me. Yeah, right. Yeah. In the trailer, Dane said the loom of fate is complete. We still don't know what this loom of fate is, but yeah, we're probably going to figure it out now. Maybe this is it. <laughs> Maybe this is the loom of fate or something. Hmm. No matter what came my way, I knew I could always talk to him. He was so thoughtful and pure and patient, too. Whenever I talked to him, he would always seem so interested, as if the things I was describing were just as important to him as they were to me. Ever since he disappeared, there's been so much I wanted to tell him. No, no, none of those things matters now. I just really want to see him again. Wow, you two must have been really close. Did he ever tell you anything about himself? Hmm... He mostly just talked about interesting things he saw around the village. Mm. Well, He'd share a lot of his own wild ideas as well. Can, can, can we, you know, can we get a description of what he looks like? You know, hair color, body size, just something to go off of? Oh, right. I did ask him about his parents once. But all he said was, they're not here anymore. Yeah. I didn't know whether that meant they had left the village or passed away. And I didn't want to pry. Hmm. Still not much to go off of. Hmm. Uh, look at me. Talking your ear off and still nothing to show for it. I'm sorry I wasn't more help. Hmm. Don't say that. You, you help us understand him better. The last time I talked this much in one go was when we were still together. Oh, come to think of it, every time we talked, it always seemed to be around dusk, just like right now. Time always passed by really slowly. Even when it felt like we'd been talking for hours, the sun would still be at the same position in the sky. Well, time always seems to pass slower when you're relaxed, right? Uh, what's wrong, Traveler? It was always the same time of day, and then time never seemed to pass. Plus we, uh, based on what we learned, this this is definitely not a regular missing person's case. And what Atosa just told us about time could be the key to unraveling this whole mystery. Yeah, maybe, is this another Samsara? Hmm. Oh. Hey, look at those hilly trails over there. Doesn't it seem like they're acting a little strange? I mean, they're acting perfectly normal to me, but what's so strange about them? Oh, oh, there's an abyss mage. Kill him! Uh, the abyss order. Could they be the ones behind all of this? 
Uh-oh. Oh! We've been spotted! Kill him! Oh, we've been spotted! Quick! Get ready to fight! You will die! No. <laughs> ah! Okay, he's dead. He's definitely dead. Any Stop final right words? I guess none. What? Oh, more. Oh, God. Okay, I thought we were done. <laughs> Whoops. Going in. Okay. Uh, that's all of them. What are they doing here, though? Thank you so much. I wasn't expecting monsters to show up. If you hadn't been here, I'm not sure what I would have done. It was no trouble. The question we should be asking out, what is the Abyss Order doing around here? Hmm, now that I think about it, the healing trolls around Vimara Village have been a lot more active lately. New theory. Um, maybe the person that he that she talked to was actually an Abyss, uh, an Abyss Elite. Because we do know from Enjo that some Abyss uh, members can turn into and look like humans. Maybe they can also alter their memories too. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Just a question. Well, agitated, I'm just throwing theories out there, just so see if I, just so I can say she I'm right. If I do get it right. To play in the area around the village anymore. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe the abyss order really is involved. Well, we should head back and check out the situation in Vimara Village just in case. If the Abyss Order is plotting something, that could spell trouble for the villagers. Hmm. Where is this going, I wonder? Wait a second. That person... Uh. It's... It's Dainsliff! Oh. <laughs> man, we're just always meeting this man out of nowhere. Hey! There's our man! What's up? Been uh, fucking a year. <laughs> Oh, a friend of yours? Well, I'll leave you all to it then. I should head back to the village and check up on Chief Amadea and the others anyway. Well, see you later. Yep, see you later, Atosa. Damn, Dane, it's been a while. It's been a whole ass year. I like that. Is it your <laughs> life's mission to jump scare us or something? I mean, she's not wrong. He always appear out of nowhere. <laughs> It's hardly personal, or intentional for that matter. As long as you and I are both in pursuit of the Abyss Order, we're bound to cross paths. Oh yeah, <laughs> I miss Yuri Lowenthal's uh, Dane's voice. It, it's been a while since I heard that. Ah, so you're here to investigate the Abyss Order then. That would explain the monsters you were fighting just now. Naturally. Hold on. Are you not here for the same purpose? Uh, we're also on the tail, but I'll maybe ran into them in an accident. Hmm. No matter. It may have taken you a while to catch on, but I'm sure you've also realized by now that there's something strange about this place. The Abyss Order is most certainly planning something in this area. Or worse, their plan could already be in motion. Mm. So you think the Abyss Order is behind the hilly trail activity in the area? As things stand, I highly doubt that is their primary motive. I would imagine the increased hilly churl activity is merely a byproduct of whatever it is they're really trying to accomplish. Hmm, are they trying this Luma Fate thing? Please elaborate on it, by the way, because I still don't know what that is. Still, the hilly churl activity is causing a lot of problems for the people here. We should stick around for a while and protect the village, don't you think? The best way to protect them is by figuring out what the Abyss Order is truly planning. That is how we prevent further tragedy. Well, let's see what more we can learn from the villagers. After that, you also owe us many answers still, yeah. <laughs> and you shall have them. I never intended to hide anything from you. <laughs> but you hid away from us for like a whole last year. Come on now. <laughs> God damn it. Don't worry. There should be ample time to talk. Yeah, you better explain like everything, buddy. I mean, every juicy detail. You took the Vira village and gathered intel until eventually... Oh, it hit dusk. Ah. Huh. So that was the commission that brought you here to Vimara Village. Someone who seems to only exist in people's memories. That is indeed quite intriguing. Hmm. I would agree that it's unlikely you have a simple missing persons case on your hands. However, 
Any possible connection to the Abyss Order is still unclear. It appears all we have by way of clues is increased hilly churl activity. And that is certainly not much to go off of. Well then, how about the intel you promised me? Right! That mysterious voice she heard in her brother's memory. Yeah. The one who called himself a sinner. Yeah, that, Who's that. He? All that. <laughs> Honestly, I almost forgot about that because it's been such a long time since the previous dates, of course. Yeah, I, I probably need a refresher of everything that happened before. Hmm. Traveler, let me ask you this. Do you believe your sibling to have betrayed you? Hmm. I want to have faith in him, and a matter of speaking, yeah. I want to have faith in him. Hmm. I sense hesitation in your words. After all, you still haven't figured out the whole truth of what happened. Oh boy. There's still hope for the two of you to reconcile. Irreparable damage has not yet been done. Not yet been done? Uh, I don't like the way you phrase that, Dane. The sinner you wish to know about. His situation is different. He and his fellow sinners have long betrayed me, and long betrayed their nation. His name is Vedrfornir. Vedrfornir. The Visionary. Huh, the Visionary. Have we heard that somewhere before? Why does that sound so familiar? Is he... Wait, was he mentioned in, like, the books in Fontaine? I'm gonna have to look it up after this. I'm loath to admit it, but... He is also my kin. Oh, shit. My older brother. Biological or... Wait. Your... Brother? What happened between the two of you? What really happened back in Karia back then? There were five of them. The five sinners of Kanria. Five. Ooh, okay. The wise, Roptatir. The visionary. <gasps> oh! Gold. Rhine. Rhine God is one of the sinners. The okay. Sertologi. Sertologi, okay. Rehir of Solnari. Rerir. Rerir, okay. Yeah, we, we've known about Rhine Daughter for a while. Um, Yeah, she or he is a uh, Albedo's, you know, creator. No matter how eroded my memory may become, I will never forget their names. One day, I shall have my vengeance. Oh yeah, and one of them is like Skirk's master as well. Yeah, right, right, right. Also, he <laughs> contains a fucking saying, Vengeance will be mine. <laughs> Wait, some of those names sound really familiar. Rhine Daughter is yeah. the one who created Albedo. Sertologi is Skirk's master. Oh, yeah, right, we did heard Sotologi from Skirk, right, I forgot about that. And the one we just learned about, Dane's brother, Vedafolnir. If he was the voice of the sinner, then the one who inspired Klotar to create the Abyss Order was him. And somehow everything's connected, oh. Yeah, we could have known this last time, Dane, you could probably, like, you know, told us last time. <laughs> that that would have been nice, you know? If that's true, then the stone slates we found in the Ruin of Fontaine. The ones that outlined Fontaine's prophecy, that was likely Vordenfrenir's doing as well. They were once people of great esteem in Kanria. Those who carried the hopes of the nation. They were the best of their peers, outstanding in their respective fields. The six of us. Together. Huh. We should have been Wait. the ones to prevent the disaster. The ones to stop the Vinster King from continuing to rock the foundation of the world. The Vinster King? Who's that? Yet, deep within, the five of them craved something more. They could not resist the call of the Abyss and divided among themselves a power that could destroy the world. So they became sinners. Huh. But also transcendent beings, each in possession of world-shattering power and when the cataclysm occurred not one of them stood up in defense of their nation Jeez. not one came forward to prevent the tragedy and for that they shall never have my forgiveness and then my sibling came in contact with your brother indeed oh. if they are not stopped the day is sure to come when they will also betray the entire world it must have been hard to talk about all this but thank you for telling me Okay, now we... Okay, so Dane's brother converted Aether to the Abyss? Is that... Am I understanding that right? Or am I misunderstanding stuff? Huh. 
So Rhine Daughter and Sergeant Loji are the five sinners who have god like powers essentially. But none of them once not even one of them stood to defend Conria against against Celestia. Interesting. Thank you for telling of me. Of course. As I said, I never intended to hide anything from you. So, Dean, what have you been looking into all this time? I've continued to investigate the questions surrounding the Loom of Fate. Yes, that. It's been quite some time since the initial operation was launched. By retrieving the eye of the first field tiller, yeah, right. we were able to stop part of their plan from coming to fruition. <laughs> that was in the very first Dane quest, by the way, I, I, I think. Yeah, the very first Dane quest. Oh, Paimon remembers! Weren't they going to use it to corrupt Osayo and make a god or something? Yeah, make Osayo a mecha god, by the way. <laughs> Indeed. However, it's obvious that was just some sort of technical experiment. The eye was integral to their plan. Yet somehow, despite failing to obtain it, they've skipped the experimental phase and found some other way to keep moving forward. There are many signs pointing to that effect. Then what should we do? It's not too late, is it? Our most pressing concern is to determine the purpose of the Loom of Fate. Right. From there, we'll be able to deduce the Abyss Orders based on the intel I, I gathered I did mean to so skip far. there, my bad. I suspect the Loom of Fate is related to the Ley Lines in some way. The Ley Lines? Everything's gotta be connected to the Ley Lines, don't they? <laughs> Traveler, you were able to observe your siblings' memories last time, yes? Yeah. I believe that was due to the fact that the Ley Lines in that area were unstable. My recent investigation has shown that Abyss Order activity in a particular area is usually followed by a series of issues with the ley lines. Ah, one thing that flows through ley lines are memories. Wait, then our commission here in Vimara Village, the person who seems to exist only in people's memories, could it be connected? Probably. Memories, ley lines, Luma Fate, this missing person doesn't seem to exist. What's the connection between all this? It's certainly possible. I'll join your investigation tomorrow. Hmm. This missing persons case could very well turn out to be the key to unraveling these mysteries well if we're teaming up with dane again we're gonna need all the energy we can get <laughs> let's try investigating somewhere a little further away tomorrow all right interesting yeah this would have been nice to know in the previous arc and quest but at least they're telling us now hmm Way too much brain juice yeah, I'm gonna have yesterday. to like write this all down or something. <laughs> saying all that complicated stuff. So five sinners divided godly powers among themselves, and none of them went up to save Conria. And we know of three of them as of right now. Um, I do remember all their names, but I'll have to go back and check all of them. But yeah, we know Ryan Daughter, Albedo's master, Sociology Skirk's master, and of uh, something something which is Dane's brother and I don't remember the other names I'm gonna have to go back and like read them again yeah I didn't sleep well either my head's a mess I, I yeah I need some time to comp uh, comp and, uh, contemplate the lore well let's go find Dane we've got a lot to do today that we do hmm so what I do wonder then is that yeah how did Dane's brother manage to convert Aether to the Abyss or Lumine if you picked Aether like yeah, how did how did he manage to do that? Hmm. Yeah, let's go talk to Dane. Oops, I uh, didn't mean to drop down this far. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> He's just standing in the middle of the just all these people uh, here. Dane. Hello, Dane. <laughs> Why are you just zoning out over here? Yeah, I thought you'd like to be hidden away from people. Why are you just standing out in the open? <sighs> yeah. Did something happen? Uh, what's wrong, Dane? The missing person from your commission. Could you describe them to me? Okay. Oh, a uh, young guy? Early 20s? Seriously, Dane, what's going on? There are appear to be certain memories in my mind that weren't there before. 
Oh. Memories of him. Him? But maybe, maybe we just talked too much about him yesterday and you had a weird dream or something? No, it wasn't a dream. They're memories. Memories that suddenly appeared in my mind after I woke up. What memories? Memories of who? And I'm certain I've never met this person before. Huh. Well, what exactly do you remember? I remember... handing him the eye of the first field tiller. Huh? What? <laughs> huh? What? You didn't do that, did you? Wait, actually, where is the eye of the field tiller? Do you still have it? Okay, so this missing person definitely has something to do with the Abyss Order, then! Indeed. And it appears he possesses the ability to implant memories into the minds of others. How's that even possible? So everybody is just remembering a fake person, okay. Wait then. All the memories the villagers have of him, could they be fake too? Maybe they never knew him at all. Hmm. But why would he do something like that? Why indeed? Maybe, maybe this is unintentional. Maybe it's just a side effect of the ley lines. Whatever the Abyss Order mm -hmm. is planning, an important truth has been revealed to us this morning. What sort of truth? That their goal is still to obtain the eye of the first field tiller. Right. They haven't stopped searching for it. I am the only person who knows its location. Perhaps implanting that particular memory was an attempt to interfere with my mind in some way. Is the eye still safe? What if that memory is real? If what if that memory is real? Your concerns are not entirely unfounded. I don't believe the Abyss Order is capable of altering reality like that just yet. Hmm. However, considering their single-minded pursuit of the Eye, I would see an equal level of caution is in order on our part. Come with me. We must check whether the Eye is still in our possession. Oh, so you're going to take us to where you hid it? But what if someone follows us? If we go straight there and someone's on our tail, aren't we just exposing the eye's location? Maybe that's the reason the Abyss Order implanted that memory in the first place? To force Dane to confirm the eye's location? Hmm. hmm. Given what I know of him, though, I'm sure Dane already thought of that. And I thought of that possibility. It seems like he might, he might already have a plan. Let's go. Lead the way, Dane. Of course. Yeah, let's... Yeah, Dave seems not that stupid to just straight reveal where it is. Also, it seems to mirror for some reason. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be setting up a trap for the Abyss Order or something around here. Okay, but uh let's go on up here. Alright, where'd you hide this eye anyways? Like yeah, why is it near the uh, domain <laughs> of the artifact I farm the most of? Uh right here? Near the chasm? So you hit it way out here? Not an easy place to discover, that's for sure. Whoa, okay, that that blue portal was not been there before. Okay. Well, let's go check to see if it's safe. Traveler. Alright. Yeah? Hmm? Uh. uh what happened? What? We've no time to lose. Let's head inside. Uh, what was Zane going to tell me just now? Was Zane going to tell me something, but then his memory was just wiped? What? Hey, wait up! Yeah, wait. Yeah, how how's the ley lines have like gone to the point where it can even affect Dane's mind? Oh god, did they already take the eye? Oh. And oh, okay, no, he, he just lifted the barrier. Okay, never mind. Now we can just go inside. Oh, it's a domain. Uh, fire electro. I already have pyro and electro characters, so might as well. Enter the depths of the ruins. Damn, he hit the <laughs> the eye of the futilers in here. Whoa, okay. Never knew ruins like this existed near the chasm. How far is it? Okay, here we are. Oh, the statue. Okay, aren't these the uh, Ankenomia statues? What are they doing here?
What a yeah, what a creepy ass place to just hide the eye, here, Dane. <laughs> totally not suspicious at all. We can't go any further. Be on your guard. Oh. I sense the presence of the abyss. Ah, oh, fuck yeah, they were following us. <gasps> oh, oh, you're the ice one. Get him! Everybody stand back. Ah, okay, you guys, you are dying pretty quickly. All right, you have a uh, your eyes fit your yeah. Justice will prevail. Stop. Hang on, I don't deal with you. Just yeah, just uh, gonna super kind of do you entirely. Let's light it up. Uh, oh god. Okay, uh, don't come after me. Okay, gotcha. Okay. That's just quick. As I suspected. The false memories were a trap. The Abyss Order just wanted to follow us here. Now that they're in the vicinity, we should have a chance to see... See what? Ah! Dane? Dane? What's wrong? Can you feel that? There's been a disturbance in the ley lines. It must be the work of the Abyss. I... what? I don't feel a thing. Wow, you must be really sensitive to that sort of thing. Byman doesn't feel it. Is it? Yeah, it's, it's just Dave for some reason. You too. Do as I say. Use that mechanism over there and leave this place. Leave you here on your own? Will you be all right? The Abyss Order is putting something in motion. If you return to Vimara Village, I suspect you might finally have the opportunity to locate the missing villager. Should we really even listen to Dane, though? Because maybe his memories are affecting his choices here. I, I don't know. Just think of it as a way to divide and conquer. All right. Hmm. Yeah, for some reason, I thought Dane would be, like, immune to, like, the, uh... You know, the memory wiping and whatnot, but I guess he's not. Dane does have a point. But something still feels off. What am I missing? Oh boy. Huh. Wait. Is. <gasps> Wait. Ether? Is that. Is that you, Ether? Uh. Oh god, who is it? Yup! <laughs> yup! I knew going along with your trap would be the only way to meet with you face to face. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh fuck, are we really about to see fucking the best twin at Days of Throwdown? <laughs> you risked your safety. And that of the eye. That's quite the gamble, Dainsliff. But I believe that I am the one walking into a trap laid by the Twilight Sword. So you came here all on your own? What about those followers? Oh, of shit. <laughs> when the Twilight Sword is prepared for battle, any army I could send would only be marching to their doom. Better that I face you alone. Oh boy. <laughs> I know you must have a lot to say. But if it's a conversation you want, you'll have to defeat me first. Oh, what is Dane? Oh, Dane looks actually kind of sad. <laughs> oh, come on. You're not going to show the fight. God damn it. Ah, I wanted to see fucking Ether and Dane yeah, throw down. The, the ley lines are all out of whack. We better hurry back to Vimara Village and see what's going on. Oh, hey, I'm locked into this part of the map. God damn it, though. I, I really wanted to see Dane and fucking Ether clash. <laughs> ah, damn it. Also, what's up with this hill troll? Hey, look at those hill trolls over there. They seem strangely calm. Space, I blame you. I got lucky in my pulse. Oh, wait, let me scroll up. I got two gold pulls, I pulled Chlorine in accident, and after 30 pulls, I got ka -ching. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, you got the same luck as me? With your Chlorine pulls? <laughs> what? I mean... Should I say... <laughs> what? 
<laughs> should I say I'm sorry or should I say you're welcome? <laughs> I'm not sure. I wanted Sethos, but then I got... <laughs> then you got the two Electro Waifus instead. What? So the exact same as my polls. Like, Koran first and Kaching afterwards? Are you kidding me? Give me my G, Yan, dang it. Well, I'm sorry. I, it seems my luck only spurts against it for, for some reason and not to the other games. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> what? Yeah, what a freaking coincidence if that's actually the case. What? How do we both coincidentally both pull Koran and Kaching? We've been soft pity of each other. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, wow. That's Yeah, that's just one hell of a coincidence. If Holy shit. <laughs> Okay, but uh, yeah, uh, back on track. We got we got to get back to the story. But holy shit, I guess congrats on your Kaching and uh, Cloran. I guess if you intend to use them. Uh, yeah, the Hilatro seems strangely calm. Weren't they acting super agitated just a little while ago? Why are they so calm all of a sudden? Huh? Wait, I hear something. Uh, yeah. What what is up with those yellow butterflies? In the new world, oh. they bade farewell to the shrouded sun. Oh, wait, this is the center, right? At last, they no longer needed to dwell on their suffering or try to differentiate between various thoughts of blasphemy. It, Dane's brother, I think? Such was the price they paid, and thus their souls became cleansed and pure. Uh... Did you hear that? What was that sound just now? You heard it too, Paimon? It's someone's voice. I don't think it was Ether. No, it didn't sound like him. It sounded so gentle. Could that voice be... comforting the hilly trills in some way? Oh, this is weird. Let's check if this is happening anywhere else. Hmm. Will these hilly trills simply come if I take their food? Nope, they just... Yeah, they, they, they don't want to fight. They're pacifistic. Huh. Yeah, I notice these yellow butterflies are everywhere. Is that indicating something's Looks happening? Like the same thing is happening over here, too. Huh. The hilly churls are calm. You see, we're both still here. We've reclaimed an endless amount of time to love. Okay, maybe, maybe it is... Maybe it is ether, but just heavily deeper for some reason. Release your tears. Or, I don't know, actually. Hold back your sorrow. Is that voice again? Hmm. Yeah, these hills just don't want to fight. They're just, like, at peace, somehow. Over if you can there, even call that peace. It looks like they're sleeping. In the end, he whispered softly. Sleep well, father. Sleep well, father. Sleep well, my beloved people. Okay, never mind. This this has to be like Dean's brother or something. When you awake, that which differentiates Already one of the other sinners shall be no more. It almost sounds like a poem or some kind of story. Well, now that the hilly trolls have calmed down, Vimara Village should be safe at least. I'm not so sure about that. Let's put the situation to the side for now. Dane said this might be our chance to find the missing villager, so we should head back to Vimara Village before it's too late. Because, yeah, he said, like, my people and whatnot. I don't think Aether would call, like, the people of Conria my people. Hmm. Yeah, it sounds more like one of the sinners to me. Like, either Dane's brother, maybe Rhine daughter, maybe, I don't know, Sertologi. One of them, at the very least. It sounds, yeah. Sounds very similar to one of them. I forget how the sinner sounded in the previous Arkham Quest, so I'm not 100 percent sure, but it might have been it might be just Dane's brother. At least that's what uh I think. Could be someone else for all we know. Hmm. Amadea, uh you got anything new? Nearby. The Abyss Order? Uh, this is the first I'm hearing of it. What? Uh, thank you for your concern. 
But as far as I'm aware, it's been business as usual here in the village. How do you not know about the be uh, about the abyss order? What? Well, that's good to hear. Oh, also, you didn't happen to come across any clues about the missing villager while we were gone, did you? Oh god, he's gonna say like something like, "What missing villager?" Hmm. Someone's gone oh, yeah. missing, you say? Who would that be? Huh? Huh. So. I guess those implanted memories got taken away? You don't remember? Things just got even more complicated. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? You know, the young guy from Vimara Village. The one you've been looking for all this time? You posted a commission with the Sumeru Adventurers Guild. That's kind of the whole reason we're here, actually. Your missing persons commission. Ah, I do apologize, you two. I hope huh. I'm not worrying you too much. I'm sure it's just my age making me forgetful again. At least right now, I can't seem to recall whatever it is you're referring to. Perhaps you should try asking someone else. But how is that? Huh. Uh, all right. Thanks for your help, Grandpa Amadea. I'm guessing... Maybe Ether's arrival. Something huh. is definitely not right. We just talked to Grandpa Amadea about the missing villager. There's no way he could have forgotten all about him just like that. Unless he got dementia within the 30 minutes we've been gone. What do you think, Traveler? Could everyone's memories of the missing villager have been erased again? It's too early to say we should check in with the other villagers right. first. We should narrow down the possibilities first. Let's go ask someone else then. Hmm. Oh yeah, we didn't tell the village about the abyss order, right? We only told that one girl that it might be abyss order involved. Hmm. But at the same time, how do, how do they forget the missing villager some more? Yeah, I feel like the memories that were given to them are have now been taken away. Hmm. Someone's gone missing. Who? Uh, just as expected. Uh -huh. Um, that guy you said a bunch of nice things about earlier? The one you always used to chat with? He's around 20 years old, and you said he was a kind, warm-hearted person? Oh, I know who you're talking about. Uh. Really? You remember? There aren't many young people who've earned that kind of praise from me. If you're certain that's what I said, then there's only one person who fits the bill. No doubt about it. Why'd you say he's gone missing? Um, have you seen him recently? Do you know where he went? Yeah, I just saw him leave the village. Oh, wait, he's actually here now. Honest no, with him what? Too. Okay. They have gone far. Wait. Oh, maybe maybe they're just not missing anymore. Maybe they're actually back. Wait. Strange. Huh. Bayram seems to remember him. And apparently he just saw him? So this missing person in their memories is no longer missing. Huh. Do you think maybe it's not that there's something wrong with people's memories, but that we've somehow returned to a time before he went missing? It feels like it, honestly. I doubt returning to the past would be that simple. Given everything Dane mentioned about the, the services of the ley lines, I'd say if, uh, it's far more likely that it's related to the memories uh, in some way. I need to think carefully. What's really going on? Oh, thinking time! People forgot about the missing person. Just like what happened with Greater Lord Rukadavata, no one remembers him because there's been a change in people's memories. We've returned to a point before the disappearance took place. If we really did travel back to a time before he disappeared, that could explain why the villagers said he hadn't gone missing. We we're presently traversing someone's memories. That, that's probably it. If this person only exists in people's memories, maybe we're in someone's memory right now. Maybe. Hmm. I think this is it. I think we're traversing right. somebody's memories. I totally forgot about the yeah. line disturbances. We're in someone else's memory. Just like how you entered your sibling's memory last time. Yeah. That would also explain why we seem to be at a time before he went missing. It's a memory after all. If we're really in someone's memory, this is our chance to find right. him. If he's someone who only exists in people's memories, then we're finally on the same turf. But... Didn't Baron just say that he saw him leave the village with someone? Where should we go look for him? Who knows how long this ley line disturbance is gonna last? Hmm. We might not have that much time and we don't even know whose memory this is! 
Let's go through what we know so far. Yeah, that'll help us narrow things down. Hmm. We pretty much figured out that the missing villager has the ability to implant memories into the minds of others. Right. That. Can we try to figure out more about him using what we know of his ability? Like, does it maybe leave a trace that would somehow give him away? Hmm. Implanting memories onto the minds of others must be an imperfect process. There's no way new memories could perfectly blend in with the old ones. There has to be some kind of tell. Scenes for false memories will not change. Time does not pass with false memories. False memories are easily forgotten. Hmm. Time does not pass with false memories. I, th I think this is it. Time is allowed to pass within the false memories. There's a higher chance they might conflict with someone's original recollection. That would make it much harder to avoid suspicion. I feel like that's the case. No yeah, there we wonder. go. All this time in the sky hasn't changed a bit. That must mean time isn't passing. Yeah. That's the tell of the fake memories. The implanted memories are basically taking place outside of the regular 24 hours of the day. Yep. If the memories included the regular passage of time, it would be easy for people to tell that something was off. Like there could be overlap or something. People might start to wonder why they remember doing two different things at the same time of day. That's why he makes sure the memories take place at a specific moment in time rather than over a period of time. Right. If we consider this conjunction with what we already know, then the question of whose memory it is, this is seems to have an obvious answer. Dainsliff, Atosa, Amadea. Hmm. Dainsliff had memories implanted into his mind. Could it be that it's happened more than once? Yeah, maybe we're in Dainsliff memory right now, I, I think. No. That okay, maybe not. Doesn't seem right. Hmm. No, Atosa, because Atosa saw the Abyss Order, meanwhile the others doesn't. The color of the sky coincides with the moment in time she described. Yes, okay, so it is her, yeah. Atosa. Oh, right! That's exactly what Atosa described! I almost forgot about that, yeah. Oh, come to think of it, every time we talked, it always seemed to be around dusk. Just like right now. Time always passed by really slowly. Even when it felt like we'd been talking for hours, yep. the sun would still be at the same position in the sky. Yep, that has to be it. This is definitely Atosa's memory. Let's go to the tree. Yeah, that's where they'll be. Hmm, okay, so... Now the question lies. Who's so... Okay, why Atosa specifically? Why go into her memories, of all people? Shoot. Hmm. Yeah, this boss getting even more and more intriguing. I'm, I'm, I'm getting really hooked on this, honestly. I'm trying to figure out all the like little nooks and crannies and whatnot. But I, but I'm still gonna wonder, what is Aether and Dane doing down there? I want to see them duel it out. <laughs> but I guess we're gonna go back to Atosa. Wait, who's that? Wait, that's a Conrian man. Wait a minute. Final warning. Ain't that a guy from Conria? Wait, 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 wait. So, see, Granny Jahiet was a mercenary when she was younger. She just talks like that out of habit. She's not trying to scare the children on purpose. <laughs> oh, there I go again. Always talking about my own things. Do you maybe have anything you want to share? Um, it's okay if yep, you don't. Yep, th that's Conria attire. You could also just... Talk about what you think of me? Oh, I... Uh, I, I think you're an incredibly strong and thoughtful young woman. <laughs> Hi, Kanya Tepe. The heck? <laughs> yeah, wait, Kari Bear? Uh, maybe? I don't know. No, Kari Bear is dead. Or, or presumably dead now, but hmm. You'll meet many amazing people and live a very happy life. You won't miss someone like me. Huh? Are those your friends over there? Uh, oh, she doesn't even remember us. Hey, Conria man. We finally found him, but why does he look kind of familiar? Oh, right. This version of Atosa hasn't met us yet. Friends? I guess you could say that. It must have taken them a lot of effort to find me. So, I should see what they need. Hmm. 
Mm. I'm sorry, Atosa. We'll have to continue this conversation another time. <laughs> what, is this like younger Clotar or something? Another time, huh? Um, yeah, okay. I'll head back to the village then. Talk to you some other time. <laughs> it's okay, this girl's totally in love with him. <laughs> she mad crushing on, <laughs> on that Kanri ass. It's nice to see you, Traveler. I believe this is the first time we've met. You are... Wait! Wait, it... wait! Tracking memories of the Abyss Order, Luma Fate, and everything else. I need to think of the one person that connect all of this together. Kai Bear, right? Yeah, Kai Bear Albridge. Born into abject sorrow. Yeah. He shall now become the Loom of Fate. That's the same scarf that he wore in his Hillichur form. You're Kari Bear Alberic. Huh, I didn't think that was the case. Um, what? I, I thought he died at the end of the other quests. What? Oh, you know me? That's quite the surprise. I don't believe I've met you before. Well, I kind of met you when you inhibit your form. Oh, I see. It was the memory, wasn't it? Your sibling's memory. Right, right there. You yeah. saw the me from back then. Wait, back then? Wait, so you turned from Hilatro back into a human somehow? Wait, huh? This is Atosa's memory. I came here to say goodbye to her. But I suppose I'll just leave her a message instead. Come, let's find somewhere else to talk. Oh, whoa! Let's find somewhere to talk and just fucking warps me to like a completely different dimension. What's the saying? Hey, I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. That's like that. that that's like Conrad language. I, well, I need to translate. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, yeah, I'm screenshotting this. What does this say? Okay, I gotta look up like a Conrad like, like translator. What the fuck are we? What? Yeah, I remember the Kari Bear Arkin quest. He like, like took off his mask while in Hillichur form, and it's supposedly he's supposed to like hate it in his existence. Like he looked at himself like and saw himself as a monster and couldn't bear the pain of seeing himself as a monster. Hmm. Yeah, I just kind of assumed he died at the end of the quest, but I guess maybe I was wrong. Because, yeah, isn't, wasn't it a thing that Clotha told us that whenever Hilotro sees his own face, he would want to take his own life or something? Hmm. What is this place? I suppose you could call it the realm of my consciousness. I'm someone who no longer exists in the real world after all. As you well know. You look quite exhausted. Uh, it's nothing. I still have enough strength to play the part of a good host. I've always hoped that I'd get the chance to talk to you like this. And now, the time has finally arrived. This is a rare opportunity for me as well. I should try and learn as much from Kari Bear as, as I can. What exactly happened to you? What, is, what exactly is the loom of fate? Extreme sorrow and pain. Hope and regret coursing through your veins. And a degree of abyssal power that defies comprehension. Yeah, right, his body's long gone, but I guess this is his conscious, like, talking. Huh. Also, yeah, the, the fucking blue conduit eyes. Damn. Father told me that once I possessed all those elements, I would become the loom of fate. Oh. Oh. Huh. But... Despite his intentions for me, I never truly became the Loom of Fate. I was merely used as a means for its construction. In truth, I died the moment I set everything in motion. Whoa. The person you see before you now is nothing but a remnant of consciousness okay. left over within the Loom of Fate. So, wait, within? So, we're in the Loom of Fate right now? 
Actually, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Carbear is dead. That's why it can no longer exist outside of people's memories. As for your question, the Loom of Fate is a device capable of weaving ley lines. Weaving ley lines? What's that mean? In its primitive form, it can only be used to create and implant memories. Okay. But as more of it is completed, its power becomes stronger and stronger until finally it has the power to weave real ley lines of its own. Oh, that's how they're implanting fake memories. Okay. Once fully completed, the moment it gains the power to weave ley lines, it loses the lower level ability to influence memories. But it also becomes a tool that can change the entire world. So that was a source of your ability to implant memories. Yes. I have the ability to control the loom in its semi-completed form. I suppose you can think of it as a form of compensation. So that means you can just take away and implant memories at will. And I guess just influence people to just do bad things or something. After all, huh. its existence cost me my life. So the memories that suddenly appear in Dane's mind were implanted by Kari Bear through the half-finished Loom of Fate. That makes sense, but I'm still at a loss as to why he went so far to introduce himself to all the residents of Virma Village. But why do you implant the memories into yourself, of yourself into the people of Virma Village? Ah, uh, that. I was wrong to implant those memories. I'm sorry I caused so much trouble. Not only for everyone in the village, but for you as well. I just... Wanted them to feel like I once existed in this world. As if... I had a chance at life. Oh, That's why I never would have guessed. But is there any kind of meaning to this? Does only existing in people's memories really count as living? <laughs> I know what you must be thinking. Why would I do something so meaningless? <sighs> But I just... I just couldn't accept it. I had to know what it would be like if I had my own life. What kind of person I would be. What other people would think of me. Chief Amadea. Baram. Granny Jahiet. Atosa. Oh. <laughs> Aw. Aw, they didn't... <laughs> Damn. What would it be like if I could live alongside them? Cataclysm, no curse. Just a quiet life in a peaceful village. Damn. At the end of the day, he just he was just a boy who wanted a chance at life. It was taken away from him. Uh, because of damn Celestia. I was curious, so I selfishly tried to have my own life. Even if even if that meant piecing together the version of myself that could have been. One memory at a time. I know it sounds stupid. <laughs> After all, my life ended a long time ago. Mm. Any chance at living was stripped away from me when I was eight years old. Jeez. My consciousness left to mature in an illusory world of nothingness. Even the form you see before you was nothing but an invention based on my father's appearance. An imagined version of what I would look like if I had the chance to grow up. Damn. Okay, no wonder he looks so much like Clotar. In the end, this all stems from the tragedy that occurred in Karnia back then. You know, everyone's looking for you. I know. But there's nothing I can do to make them find me. If I could exist in the real world, I would return without a second thought and surprise them with the suddenness of it all. Well, that's not possible for me. As I understand it, even though you appeared in their memories, your existence was a great comfort oh. to them. They all believe you once lived among them. I know. Hmm. But for some reason, you couldn't tell them your name? Hmm. Well, now I found you. Let's continue this conversation some other time. Dane might still need my help. So, I need to know. Are you on Team Abyss or are you on Team Dane? That's one thing I gotta clarify. Are you a good guy or a bad guy? I have, I still am on the fence about that. Captain Danesliff? Twilight Sword, you mean? Uh, no need to meet up with him. Things should already be settled on his end. 
settled? Exactly. As someone who could only exist in people's memories, the fact that I'm able to talk to you in my consciousness like this can only mean one thing. The loom of fate has already been completed. Oh shit. What? Blue of already complete? That means the eye of the first field tiller must have fallen into the hands of the abyss. Could something happen to Dane? Oh god, Ether won. Oh no. No need to worry about Captain Dane's left. He's absolutely fine. The only reason he lost the eye was because I happened to guess exactly what he was planning. Captain Dainsleff has had the eye inside his body this whole time, hasn't he? Wait, he has? Oh, he just carries it without, around him everywhere. Okay, that makes sense. His plan was to lure the Abyss Order to a false location, capitalizing on their pursuit of the eye in order to have the chance to confront the prince. Oh. He would then hand the eye to you and tell you to take it away from that location. But then he forgot about it because you tampered with his memories. That way, Captain Dainsleff could accomplish his own goal and ensure the safety of the eye all at once. A very thorough plan. But they never handed me the eye. That's right. Because in his mind, he had given it to you already. Oh my goodness. God. Oh, fuck. So wait, does that mean he gave Gain a false memory? You made him think that? When? Before you two entered that false location. Ah, damn it. Traveler, wait. Hmm? Uh. Oh, god damn it. We've no time to lose. Let's head inside. Damn it, so he wanted to hand me the eye all along, but you just kept interfering. So when Dane froze up back then, it's because of a false memory being implanted in his mind. No wonder. That was when I implanted the memory of him handing you the eye. Given the tense situation at that time, Captain Dainsleff failed to notice anything out of the ordinary and took that memory to be real. Jeez. Yeah, the Luma phase is complete. Can they just manipulate the memories of anybody now? That is gonna be actually pretty nuts. Because what if they, like, manipulate, like, the memories of an Archon, and then they just go berserk or something against their own country? I'm sorry, Traveler, but I needed the Loom of Fate to be completed. And to do that, we had to retrieve the Eye. Why? What do you... Why? Why do you want to complete the Loom of Fate so badly? What do you benefit from any of this? So they had the Eye the whole time until the Abyss Order took it away. I'm, I'm not sure there's anything we could have done. But now the Luma Fae is complete, what are you planning to do with it? I promise I'm not trying to conceal anything from you. But I truly have no idea what the Prince is planning. Even so, how, why are you listening to Aether? That's what I'm confused about, because you're just a memory, he can't harm you. So, why are you listening to him? Tavat's ley line system is deeply entrenched in the planet. Creating new ley lines can neither replace nor extend the ones that already exist. In the face of everything they could be planning, I fear I'm too insignificant to even get a glimpse of the bigger picture. In any case, I had my own use for the Loom of Fate, and my goal, at least, has been achieved. Your goal? You remember my father, don't you? Yeah. Tar Alberic. I believe you saw him in your sibling's memory. After he used the power of the Abyss to restore consciousness to my hilly churl form, I... Suffered from an indescribable level of mental anguish. To comfort me, my father told me a story that this was a fairy tale world where I had to take on the form of a little monster. That story managed to dispel my fears, even if just for a moment. My goal was simple hmm. to use the loom of fate in its near completed form when its ability to create memories was at its strongest to implant a specific memory into the minds of the Hillichurls. And what memory is that? In that memory, I would tell oh. them a story. Just like my father did for me. It was a story of fairy tales and love. But, more than anything, it was the story of us. So wait, so that thing that caused the Hitler to calm down then back then was Cabaret's story. 
So he's just gonna do it with every healer troll now. So they're all at peace. So that was his goal. That was the only thing he wanted. He had a device that's powerful as Luma Fate at his disposal, and all he wanted to do with it was to offer the healer trolls a moment of comfort and peace. I can't change the world. Not when I lost the very right to exist within it. Implanting those memories, that was the most worthwhile thing I could offer. Oh. Uh, perhaps I think it was very meaningful indeed. All that's left of my existence is a wisp of residual consciousness tied to the loom of fate. In truth, that trace of my consciousness should have dissipated long ago. Yeah, the voice earlier was Kari Bear. was the one yeah. thing that allowed me to hold on all this time. But now, the bedtime story is finished. And it's finally time to rest. Hmm. What's that mean for... Oh, cutscene. Does that mean that Luma Fate is just not going to be used anymore? Or... Hmm. Oh. Uh. Sam. Uh, <gasps> looks like I was too late to see Kari Bear one last time. You can just come in here as you will, Ether? What the fuck? <laughs> oh. They're not actually here. Kari Bear's consciousness is gone, and this space will soon disappear along with it. Neither of us belongs here. That's why we're not tangible. Were that not the case, I'd love to hug you too. Aww. Well, how about a conversation? Yes, please. We. <laughs> Why are you doing this? What are you planning to do with the Loom of Fate and everything? We needed this conversation like three years ago. The chance to just stop and talk like this is certainly not easy to come by. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree? This opportunity is quite hard to come by. <laughs> yeah, I almost can't believe it's real. That battle earlier was tough. The one against Dane, I mean. Ah, uh, you beat the shit out of him, huh? I didn't expect that after everything, he would still hesitate to raise his sword against me. Were it not for that, perhaps I'd still be no match for the Twilight Sword. Even after 500 years. God, it's it's so good to see them reunite at long last, and actually, you know, have a conversation, have a conversation, and not the, just like that quick talk in the other Arkham Quest. What exactly are you planning? What are you going to do with the Loom of Fate? The Loom of Fate, huh? I still haven't found a way to utilize it to its full potential. But there's still time. Before the Heavenly Principles awaken. Awake? The Heavenly Principles are still asleep? Yes. For 500 years now. Oh! Ever since the Cataclysm in Conria, there's been no sign of activity. Huh. So... Was that the whole... Hmm. Is that the whole reason why they didn't, like, drop a nail on Fontaine or anything? They just... fell asleep? Not long ago, you witnessed the Hydro Archon destroy her yes. divine throne. Yes. Was, wait, was the whole reason they didn't know a thing was because they were fucking asleep? Such a flagrant disregard for the rules. And still Celestia took no action. I suppose that's proof enough of the Heavenly Principle situation. Wait, doesn't that mean everything Farina did was for nothing then? Wait. I guess, no, they, they had to wait till she was asleep, so... Actually, I don't know, actually. What? Okay, hang on. However, 
the heavenly principles will awaken. Oh. We just don't know when that will be. So wait, they didn't might trigger it. So wait, what? So false lords did not deceive the heavenly principles. She just happened to do it while they were asleep. Hmm. I mean, true. It's not all for naught because at the end of the day, Nuvolai got back his Hydro Sovereign powers. And also, yeah, she could have known that the Heavenly Principles were asleep, so it wasn't all for nothing, but... Hmm. You really hate the Heavenly Principles, don't you? You could say that. Just look at Kari Bear. He was so pure and single-minded. The space we now find ourselves is a perfect representation of who he was. Quiet and peaceful. Even as a hilly churl, seeing the terrible sight within the mirror wasn't enough to taint his spirit. Hmm. He brought comfort to the people of this world. Even though he was denied the very right to be a part of it. So ask yourself this. Who was it that deprived him of that right to exist? The Heavenly Principles? Of course. Mm -hmm. That's only one example. My feelings about the Heavenly Principles are too complicated to explain in just a few words. <sighs> so that's what all this is about. Just going to war with the Heavenly Principles. Hmm. You mean? Say something. <laughs> You're the only one in this world who calls me that. Ah. Uh, yay, Traveler finally speaks. Also true, nobody calls us Lumine. <laughs> they, just, they just go by the username we give them. There's so much I wanted to ask you. But for some reason, I'm not interested in asking those questions right now. Oh, come on. That's at least something, some questions that need to be asked. Come on. There's just one thing I have to ask. One thing I could never understand. Why? Why can't we continue our journey together? Oh. At the end of my journey, I arrived at a place known as the Sea of Flowers at the end. Do you remember? A long time ago, when we traveled between worlds together, you told me. You wanted to find a place in the universe where that one flower was in full bloom. To have a place like that suddenly appear before me? Well, would you think of that as a coincidence? You mean... I miss you too, Lumine. Aww. <laughs> but as this war continues to rage, and as I continue to seek that final answer, I don't even know how to face myself sometimes. Let alone my own sister. Yeah, he's talking about the place, like in you know all the promotion arts, you know the sea of flowers. Yeah. <sighs> What's going on? Oh, the Luma face collapsing. This space has lost its tether. Uh. I doubt it'll be able to exist much longer. In fact, aside from our ability to physically interact with each other. There's something else you should know about this space. Oh, what? With Kari Bear gone, we won't be able to remember anything that happened here. Really? We can't take- Oh, come on. Everything really? Everything in this space will be wiped from existence. Including all memory of our reunion. Oh. Oh, he's head patting Lumine some more. You're only telling me this now? What what are you saying, Ether? What are you saying? Oh, god damn it. Well fuck. Well, we got some info out of that, but damn I wanted more. I wanted more info. God damn it. <sighs> Still so sleepy. Paimon's head feels all fuzzy. Uh well. Uh... I mean, that was nice at the very least, having to 
you know, being able to talk for our twin once again was very nice. Also, Dane, what happened to him? <laughs> what happened to him after he got his ass beat and the eye stolen from him? Oh, Paimon woke up a little earlier than you, so Paimon will fill you in. The villagers said that they saw us sleeping near the village yesterday. They couldn't wake us up no matter how hard they tried, so they decided to just bring us back here. Hmm. Oh, and Dane came by just now? Oh. It looked like he was injured. Yeah, about that. <laughs> he didn't say anything, though. Just made sure that you were all right and left. Kinda seemed like he had a lot on his mind, but that's Dane for ya. <sighs> he never changes, does he? I'm having trouble with thinking straight right now. He even never changes, does he? Mm, let's think for a second. We were in that memory, and we saw that guy you called Kari Bear. He was the missing villager that we've been trying to find, right? And after that, uh, Paimon doesn't remember what happened. Uh, Kari Bear and I talked for a while. He told me about the Luma Fade. Wait, really? What a score! I guess the commission is complete then. The missing villager, the person who only exists in people's memories, was Kari Bear all along. But now he's gone. I'm not sure to explain things to the villagers. Uh, huh. I can't seem to remember, cause god damn it. Uh, we just have to wipe our memories of the fucking, uh, <laughs> of our conversation with our brother. Maybe I'm just tired? I feel like I'm f uh, I feel like something else happened, but, but why can't I remember? I'm not sure why, but it almost feels like I lost something. Uh, you, you definitely did. Ah, there you are. <laughs> Sleep well? God damn it! That nice conversation just only to be wiped out, fucking off our m memories. God damn it! Hey, Ron, you sure seem happy. Did something good happen? Something good? Huh? Wasn't anything good or bad, I'd say. What? Huh? It's just that, well, the village organized another search party yesterday. It didn't feel right to leave all the searching to the adventurers. Oh wait, so Kyber is remembered? So there we were searching away when suddenly this one guy said it all came back to him. According to him, one day around dusk, he was passing by this one tree outside the village, and he saw our missing villager. There he was, sleeping under that tree all by himself. His oh. parents came a little later to wake him up, and they all left together. It looked like quite a happy family, apparently. And after that, well, we all started to feel like that really is what happened. Kind of strange that we forgot all about it for so long. So that's how Kari Bear said his goodbyes. So that's the last memory he gave them. Oh, and we also remembered his name, Kari Bear. Ah. Uh, now, that's not a name you hear every day. Would have been helpful if we remembered it sooner. Yeah, would have saved us a lot of headache. <laughs> that's a unique name. Make sure you remember it this time. Well, I hope he's happy wherever he is. And we're all relieved now that we know what happened. Ah. Uh. Seems like everyone thinks Kari Bear left the village. That's probably for the best. At yeah. least they have some sort of explanation now. Kyber is gone and Luma Fade is now complete. And no one else will try to change the, mem the villager's mem memories now. Mm. Paimon wonders how Atos is doing. Maybe we should go check on her. If she hasn't remembered like everyone else, we can tell her what happened. Paimon didn't see her in the village just now, so she's probably at the tree. Come on, let's go talk to her. Oh god, she's gonna be like the most hurt about Kyber Bear's like, disappearance. She's probably gonna go, like, I don't know, fucking do something, like, look for him or something. Oh, I just have the feeling that's gonna be the case. Just guessing. Hey, there she is. The Luma Fate is still on the Abyss Order side, you just don't know how to use it yet. Yet. True, like, they do have it. It's just, it's complete. They do have it. It's just that only Car Bear no only knows how to use it for the meantime. And now Car Bear is gone. Now they have to, I guess, figure things out themselves. Okay, but Atosa, hey, are you okay? Also, yeah, I see those dolls up there now in the tree of her and Car Bear. <sighs> also, yeah, the other field tiller is now with the Abyss Order now. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Oh, it's you two. I was just about to go looking for you. I wanted to thank you. I was part of the search party, so I... remember what happened to Kari Bear now. Honestly, I just... 
can't believe I forgot something so important. Maybe he wanted you to, f to forget him. I'm sure you wouldn't. I'm sure he wouldn't want you to forget him. It's funny, but I have this feeling he told me the same thing. I just can't seem to remember when. I guess it doesn't really matter anyway. Life is made up of a series of memories. As long as I hold on to our time together, he'll always be a part of my life. Yeah. I'm just happy I got to meet him. So, who cares what happens in the future, right? <sighs> Aww. Ah, come on, Lumine, you could've, you could've okay, given her a slug or I'll something. Admit, I'm just putting on a brave face. I was dumped, wasn't I? Oh. Otherwise, why would he just leave like that without saying goodbye? I'm sure he had his reasons. <laughs> you don't need to comfort me. I'll be okay. It's just like Kari Bear said. It's the things we overcome that make life more precious. And, you know, if he has a heart, maybe he'll come back and see me one day. Ah! Uh, um, yeah, I, I, about that, um... Yeah, don't expect him to ever come back, ever, again. Anyway, thanks for all your hard work, you two. I promised I'd help Granny Jahiet with something, so I should head back. Goodbye! Well, that should be it, right? Everyone's lives can go back to normal now. I guess, maybe, I don't know. Oh, right! Weren't you about to tell Paimon what happened after your conversation with Curry Bear? Right, what was that that happened? I can't remember. Huh? It feels like there's something in my pocket. Oh. Uh, a picture? Where'd that come from? Let Paimon see. Oh. Oh, what? You must get along with each other, the two of you. Oh, Kari. Oh, it's us, our sibling and Kari Bear. What? <laughs> I don't remember taking this photo. What the heck? <laughs> oh, is that what the... The dialogue translates to? Oh, That is such a... That is, that, is, that is such a cute fucking picture. Damn though, we're not smiling, only Kari Bear is. Damn. When was this taken? Ah, Axis completed, bedtime story. Group photo from an unknown time. Hang on, I gotta have a look at this again. Ah. Oh. Damn, what an ending to, to the quest. Man, though, it just makes me all the more curious as to, like, yeah, what what did Ether see at the end of the journey? Yeah, can we just rush over to Conria at this point? Can we just rush over to the Sea of Flowers and complete a journey at this rate? Because, damn, I'm really curious to see what he saw that made him so angry at the Heavenly Principles. I mean, we know the Heavenly Principles did some very shitty things, but to the extent that Aether hated them so much, I really want to know. Also, yeah, fucking Dane stuff, as usual, just went vamoose, and uh, he's gone now until, like, the next time we get another Dane quest. Like, bro got his ass kicked by Aether and was never seen again. <laughs> like, what the hell? But damn, though, that was a really, really good Aether. Uh, yeah, a Dane stuff quest. Well, you know... <laughs> The, uh, Traveler Quest, I guess they're called. It was really, really good. It had, like, all, yeah, the, the lore dumps, the emotional moments, everything. And, yeah, our final goodbye of Kari Bear. All that was really, really good. But, yeah, we now know there's, like, five sinners of, uh, Kanria. And they all divided godly powers among them and everything. We also know that the Luma Fae is complete thanks to Kari Bear. And now the Abyss Order has the Luma Fae in the possession, as well as the Eye of the First Field Tiller. So now they can just use the Luma Fae as they please. Well, when they learn how to use it, that is. Which is definitely not good. That means they can, they can just alter the memories of just anybody at this point. Which is uh, definitely going to lead to some very bad things in the future. But I guess we'll deal with the consequences when they come. And yeah, the Heavenly Principles, yeah, we know that they, they have been asleep for the past 500 years, ever since the Cataclysm. Yeah, they've they just been completely silent and asleep ever since the fall of Conria. So I do wonder, what does that what does that mean? Does that mean Celestia, like, how are they asleep? No, no, well, it's not exactly they're asleep, they just haven't done anything for the past 500 years. So, I really wonder... What are they doing? Why have why have they been silent for the past 500 years? Why do they just ignore Fosalor's um quote unquote 
like performance. There's yeah, there's many unanswered questions, but also many answered questions too. It's just yeah, there's more unanswered questions than answered ones, but all in all, this was a very, very great Arkham Quest. I, I loved it. And yeah, hopefully we don't have to wait too long for like the next chapter. <laughs> the next uh Jade's Arc Quest, because I do really really want to see the, like what's up next though probably the next uh, arc quest is going to be us going to natlin so there's that but damn though that like the, the conversation we had with our sibling was so so wholesome i loved it honestly and also the photo at the very end with our two siblings and kari bear you must get along with each other the two of you ah uh, kind of like acting like a big brother or something that is that is yeah just all sorts of yeah feel good yeah, I wonder what would it take for Celestia to freaking awaken? Like, if they're asleep, if, they, if they've been asleep this whole time, what's gonna make them go awake or like trigger them and whatnot? That is something we definitely gotta. Yeah, we gotta question for ourselves as well. But yeah, we gotta definitely keep a lookout for those names in the future. The names of those five sinners. I'll have, have to go back on the quest to see their names again. But yeah, we definitely gotta like keep those names in the back of our heads in case they ever come up in like Natlin or any other quests of the sorts. Yeah, maybe the Sarita's Rebellion with, like, gathering all the Gnosis and whatnot. Because Natlin has, like, the last Gnosis left. Because, yeah, they got the Gnosis of all five regions so far. And they, the only one they're missing is the Pyre Gnosis. Although some people have theorized that they already taken the Pyre Gnosis. I'm not sure if that's true per se, but... Yeah, the Pyre Gnosis is the last one they have to collect. And then the Sarita can just give her her own up to like, you know, initiate the uh, whole Gnosis plan and whatnot. Yeah, that's one thing we still got to know as well, is what the Sarita plans to do with the six, the, the, with the seven Gnosis. It's, it's definitely got to involve something with the Heavenly Principles or something. But yeah, looking forward to any other future quests that, yeah, may address any of the questions that we may uh, be asking right now. But yeah, all in all, great quests, 10 out of 10 with the emotions and everything. <laughs> kind of wish Dane's Lift was around for a bit longer in the quest, but oh well. But let's just hope we don't have to wait for another year to see the man again.